Hello everyone, this is Dave from Dave's Resend Things. Now, you all love the seven days, seven wreaths, one full week of, you know, any special occasion full of wreaths. And they have been very popular on my channel and I absolutely love, love, love doing them for you all out there. And I can't thank you enough for watching those series. Today, I'm going to be joining forces with a very, very dear friend of mine. Her name is Susie, and her YouTube channel is Susie Stuff. <laughs> what a catchy title. I love it, and I love her. Today, I'm joining forces with her, and we're going to bring you just a really mini wreath week. So it is going to be two friends, two days, two wreaths. Today is day one. And don't forget, once you finish watching my video, click on the link right down below. That'll bring you to Susie's page, watch hers, and you know what? Leave her a little comment too. And maybe if you're there, hit that subscribe button for her as well. Why don't we just get started on day number one of our two friends, two days, two wreaths. Both Susie and I have challenged ourselves to do episode one using a pool noodle from the Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to use this little summer hat from Dollarama, a bunch of roses and some miscellaneous, I don't know what these are called, but they're white flowers. But look at these roses from the dollar store. They look beautiful. And some greenery. I have little ferns and little leaf branches along with tacky glue and some duct tape and my regular crafting supplies. This is everything I'm going to be using for our project today. I am starting out with that, I want to call it a straw hat, I don't know if it's a straw hat, but we've seen them everywhere at the dollar store. And all I'm doing is I'm finding the end seam and then I'm going to cut the stitch. And you can see here I'm pulling some of the thread out, but it's actually, it's not too bad. Some spots were a little bit hard to get undone, but really it was quite easy to undo it. And once I had some of the material unraveled, I just took my fingers, grabbed those threads, and I just started pulling, and they came out really, really easy. A tad bit time-consuming, but when you're done, look at all this material we have for our wreath. Just love it. And for my wreath, I am going to be curling up that pool noodle just to give it a little bit of shape so it's a little bit easier to add that duct tape and to secure it all together really. So I'm just kind of rolling it up and you can see it gave me that curve. I'm taking little pieces at first and I'm just adding them and enclosing that wreath, making that circle. Once I have those two little pieces down, I'm gonna take more duct tape, wrap it around. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm just gonna cut it off. And then we have our wreath base all ready to go and decorate. Well, with the hat anyways, the hat material, I should say. Now, I lost the footage of me starting this, so I apologize. But all I'm doing is I'm starting with those little pieces of that straw material. I glued it down, and then I just put some tacky glue. You can see here right at the front. That's just really to make sure that everything's secured. Hot glue will melt the styrofoam. Um, of that pool noodle so that's why I'm not really using the hot glue except at the start and the end of it because I don't really want to melt it too much so the tacky glue also gives me time to move it around you can see I'm actually moving quite slowly I want to make sure I'm overlapping it a little bit I want to make sure it's in the glue and then I'm just wrapping it and wrapping it I'm using my left hand to hold everything in place and my right hand I'm using just to wrap it around once you get in a rhythm, once you get in a groove, it does go quicker, I assure you. The first little bit for me took forever, the first strand. But then after a while, once I got my groove in, it was grooving time. <laughs> so you can see here, I'm finished my one little strip. And I am using the hot glue on the actual material portion and not the styrofoam pool noodle. And then I'm cutting off the excess and I'm gonna start it exact same way. I'm adding a little bit of glue on that straw material, adding my piece, and then some of that tacky glue, and I'm just gonna continue wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and more wrapping. <laughs> yes, it is a little time consuming, 
But in the end, I was totally shocked at how much I really liked it. So I'm ending it off with another little dab of glue, cutting off that excess. And look at this. Doesn't that look fantastic? I mean, it's a pool noodle wreath and a hat. That's, <laughs> it blows my mind. <laughs> now is my favorite part. If you've watched my videos before, I like to do what I call a dry run of everything. So I will get all of my tags off. I will cut if needed. Uh, my florals, I'll undo, undo. I'll take apart the actual floral picks and then I bring my base back in and I start kind of figuring out where I want everything to go. And I do call this a dry run because I don't glue anything down at this point. It's just me putting everything down and trying to figure out where I want everything to go. And how I like to do everything is I usually start with the larger items first. So you'll see I put the large leaf greenery down and then I build up. So you're actually creating layers and that's what you want when you're creating a wreath. You want to create layers, you want to create interest, different color florals, different color greenery, different styles of greenery. And that all works out for me. That formula works for me. And hopefully, me passing that on to you, it will work for you as well. Once I finish my dry run, I'm going to glue everything down. So again, I'm working from the bottom to the top. So all of the greenery, I usually lay down first. The large greenery, I should say. And then what I'm going to do is once I lay this greenery down, I'm going to start putting on those beautiful roses. And again, these are just from my local dollar store. I was quite impressed with them. I think it actually turned out really, really well. And you know what? Every now and then I get up, I take a step back, I take a look at my wreath, see how it's going. I turn it around, I lift it up and look at it. So it's always a good idea to take different angles. I sit down when I craft and film. So it's always a good idea to kind of get up and figure out if you like it, the placement, etc., etc. And here I am just adding those finishing touches with those fern leaves. And look at this. There we go. I'm going to fiddle around with it just a little bit just to get everything the way I want it. And I'm just so happy with that hat material and how natural it looks. Here we go. If you're looking to hang it, all you could do is just grab some extra hat material. I'll call it straw material. And then I'm just going to put a little dab of glue right at the one end. And I'm going to create a loop around my wreath. Once it's all dry and secured, you can use that to hang your wreath. Here is our wreath in all of its glory, but the beauty part of it, you can put it any way you want. Have the flowers at the left, the top, the right. I normally put my flowers on the left. It always seems to happen that way. All the flowers there and the greenery coming around. But today, I'm happy with all of my florals at the bottom and how this turned out and how it looked with our beautiful roses, those white little florals, the greenery, the fern, and of course that straw material that came from the hat. I'm just so surprised. I will use that again. I loved it so, so much. And our wreath in all of its glory, ready for summer, ready to hang on my front door. And don't forget, once you finish watching my video, click on the link right down below. That'll bring you to Susie's page, watch hers, and you know what? Leave her a little comment too. And maybe if you're there, hit that subscribe button for her as well. Thank you so much for joining me today and Susie for our two days, two wreaths, two friends episodes. Don't forget to check out episode number two. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.